Hi, Boris here with 500 Madness. Now, if you have been following 500 Madness, you know that we customize Fiat pretty much on a daily basis. We ship products all over the world to other fellow 500 enthusiasts, fellow 500L, 500X enthusiasts, Fiat 124 enthusiasts. And we also work with a number of manufacturers to try to develop products that we think will enhance the ownership experience of the vehicle. Now, this happens to be my own Fiat 500 Abart. I have had this guy since 2012, and I have done pretty much every modification possible. Anything from exterior, carbon fiber upgrades, interior upgrades, cage, custom interior, suspension upgrades, wheels, performance, you name it, we've done it. We've done everything except change the head unit. And that's always been one of my frustrations is the very basic plain head unit I have in the vehicle. Even though we've upgraded speakers and everything else, no matter which kits I've used in the past, I just wasn't happy with them and their, and their overall fit, finish and how they look. And uh, over the years, we've always looked for suppliers that could offer us a good product for the 500. And we finally found one. So over the last six to eight months now, we've been working with the supplier. Uh, that manufactures uh, audio components. And we've paired up with them and put together a nice package of a nice head unit with a lot of nice features that we feel you would enjoy. Uh, the installation is rather simple. The overall fit and finish is great. And the product just looks like it belongs in the dash. So come follow me inside. We'll show you how it actually works because we just installed it here. Okay, we're inside my Fiat here and want to show you the new unit. As So let's take a good look. First, you can see it has a really nice fit in this dash. It looks correct. Doesn't It's not sticking up too high. Uh, it, it's not too big, it's not too small, and it looks pretty well designed. You can see you have two small vents here. These vents are fixed. Uh, they are not as big as the factory ones, so you will get a little reduction of airflow here and a little increase on the airflow on the sides. Now what we've experienced with some other units that were used with an aftermarket kit is a lot of times the vents would break. So we actually like these to be fixed. Uh, these come as a part of this unit. So you are literally snapping the whole unit in. Now with this now, dash looks a little bit more updated. So let's, let me take you through. Uh, you're going to find all this is pretty easy to use. If you use any kind of a tablet, you will find pretty similar things. Uh, you have your map here. You can hit the little back button, uh, your Bluetooth controls. Uh, you have a variety of apps you can download. You have your radio. volume. Again, if you're familiar with the tablet, this will become pretty easy to use. And after using it for a couple of days, you'll discover new features and new things you can do. So what you'll find at the end of the day, it is a nice unit. It's got a lot of nice features. There's a lot of nice features that come standard with the unit. We encourage you to take a look at the directions that we have posted in the product listing. Along with that, take a look at the specifications that we have on the unit that are posted in the product description. And as always, if you have a question, give us a buzz. We'll be happy to help out. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for our install video. Today, we're going to be replacing this old, outdated radio with a new touchscreen doubled-in radio. So first off, you'll want to remove these covers in each of the corners on this radio. Now insert your radio tool. And work it out. Now disconnect the connections on the back. Now take a Phillips head and remove the two Phillips head screws. Now
Now you can take the plug and play harness provided with the radio and plug it directly into the factory plugs. Make sure everything is seated nicely and clicks into place. And now you can start assembling this into the back of the radio. This little box here is for a SIM card if you have opted for a cellular connection. Insert your SIM now. Now you can install your simple soft box and plug in this connector into the back of the radio. Now you can take the connector coming out of the simple soft box and put it back into the radio. Now you have two USB ports. You can install them now if you wish to use them. For our installation, we've opted to just run our main USB connector, routing it down and into our shifter housing. And now you have a connection for your backup camera if you've opted for one. And now you have the antennas for your GPS and your cell signal. Go ahead and cleanly route these, either inside or outside somewhere neat on the car. Now you can plug in your radio antenna adapter and plug it into the back of the radio. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach our cellular antenna cable. Now that everything is hooked up, you're gonna wanna test your radio. All right, now we got the phone hooked up to it and we're gonna test to make sure the sound system is working properly. All right, so it seems to work good. We're gonna go ahead and start managing all these wires and button this thing up. All right, and now we can go ahead and fit the radio. Here we have the new display installed and running. A uh, quick overview of what you have. You have your music here. This is just anything that's playing or anything you've loaded onto the player itself. You have your radio here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back down. You have your themes. You touch the brush and you can change into any of these themes. These are all kind of uh, car oriented, but these are all for this here. Then you have your Bluetooth. This is allowing you to call anybody. You can go through your phone book here. You can do your music. It's just all of your standard Bluetooth functions here, all your connections and so on. And then lastly, you have your navigation, which will auto show on here. And then you can click your navigation button down in the bottom left corner, and it'll pull you into a full screen version of the app itself. So we're gonna go ahead and go on a drive and see how everything works. As you can see, there's quite a lot at your fingertips here. Once you've got your radio and your GPS set up, it's all very accessible. If you don't have a cellular connection, you can download your maps onto this device and you can use it even offline. Right here, you can change it between miles an hour or kilometers an hour, and it's actually very accurate. Right now, we're traveling right around 63, 64, and it's kind of bouncing around, so it looks pretty, pretty close there. The radio works quite well. The Bluetooth works quite well. For the sake of copyrights, we have them turned off. Um, but everything works as it should. Everything is very easy to put together, very easy to install, and we're very happy with the result here. And that's how you install your Fiat 500 doubled in touchscreen radio. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.